Hello and welcome to our next video where we're going to be creating a um, LED rectangle using the buttons on the micro bit. So when we first get in here, we're going to explore with um, the LEDs. And so the LEDs are something that's a little bit new or we haven't explored them before and um, it allows us to plot and unplot or toggle um, particular uh, LEDs and so the LEDs we know that it's a, a matrix or a 25 LED matrix 5 by 5 but what do we know about them and so if we sort of hover over the LED here it should actually give us um, a coordinate and so these are addressable coordinates to tell us that this particular LED is actually 0, 0. And if we hover over something like this one, we can see that this one's actually going to be 0, 1, 2, 0, 1. So this one is going to be uh, 2, 1. Now, I don't want to wait here forever and, and try to see if it will, will light up. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm actually going to plot this particular one. So I'm actually going to use the um, on start. And so I said, um, I think that one is 2, 1. So let's go ahead and see if I'm correct. So if I press play, there we are. And so we can see on the simulator that we are going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in our x direction. And our y direction is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so one of you, or you might un, un, wonder why is it going increasing as we go down. Well, it's again based on um, computer science and how we start. Uh, s often we start in the top left hand corner when we're counting um, things. And uh, we increase both in a positive and a positive manner, uh, which just makes sense. And so what we're going to do on this particular case is we're going to, using A and B, we're going to make a rectangle or square or whatever shape you want. And so the, what we're going to do is we're going to use the A and the B to sort of plot our, um, our rectangle as we go forward. So first we need to figure out the position of X and the position of Y. And so we're going to go ahead and create new variables. So we're going to say um, pause X or position X. And then another one, pause Y. Now we're going to start those off at the very beginning at zero. We're just going to put this off to the side. So we're going to say our position of X and our position of Y is zero. And then it's not until I push my A or push my B that we're going to start to, to uh, build that up. And so I need to go into my inputs. And so on button A pressed, I'm going to change my X to be that value and then on input button B pressed. So again, back to input, I'm going to change this to button B pressed because you can't have two competing things and then back into variables, change Y by one. And so now what I need to do is I need to start to plot out based on those values. And so if I just went ahead and put this plot in the forever loop and I bring in those X and Y values here. So let's just run this and see what we get. So we're starting out here and if I just go there we are. Now I'm just sort of doing a line though. Uh, I'm not actually able to to sort of show 
that I have I've clicked, you know, A five times now or B five times, uh, it just sort of makes a line. And so what we want to do is we want to make it that it's always uh, plotting all of these points within the A and B that have been pressed. Okay. And so the way that we are going to do that is using a loop. And we're actually going to use two loops. And so we're going to use this for index. And we're going to put that right here. And then our pause in there. And then instead of from 0 to 4, we actually want it to be 0 to the value of x. All right, so let's see what we do, what happens when we do this. So if I press AAA, ah, now I'm only working on the X side of things. So I need to also have one for the Y side of things. So again, I need another index. Now this index is actually going to go around this other one because we want one to be based on the values of x as it increases, and one to be based on the values of y. And so, but this index here and here are the same index, so we need to actually change the value there. And so what we need to do is sort of like uh, create a new variable. So we're going to say like LED x and LED y. And so we're just going to move this one into here. So for LED X from 0 to position of X. And then for, oops, not that one. We want LED Y. All right. And then so this outer one for the Y is now going to be the one that we want. Oh, sorry about that the one that we want for our Y position, and the other one is going to be for our X position. So if we go ahead and try this out, hmm, what are we doing here? Oh, this plotting shouldn't be of X, pause X. It should be of the LED X. Sorry, that was my mistake. There we are. So now we're going to, so positive Y, or position of X and position of Y will be increasing as we um, click on A and B. And then this LED X and LED Y will be the LEDs as they lit up. Yeah, that's what I, I knew that's what I meant. There we are. And so here I can see that after I've pressed this two times and this one four times, I now have a rectangle, which is three by four. Hey, how many LEDs do I have lit up now? I can keep going and adding this all the way up to 12. I mean, 24. <laughs> Why am I saying 12? Uh, that was answering the other question. So um, with this, we can now explore and create some more if you want. So you could use another one where you could shake it, and that would um, put position X and position Y back down to zero. Um, and so that would be equivalent of this on start that we've we've gotten before. And we can put that um, in an on shake, and that would reset it. So what I'm actually going to do now that we have the micro bit right here, Let's go ahead and download this onto the micro bit. So now that we have paired the micro bit, so again, we, we go in here and we click pair. We can click on download. And then on the micro bit, you'll see just that single LED is lit up. And so if I go ahead and I press on button A, you'll see that it increases in my Y direction. And on button A, I said B the first time, yeah. So B, and then now we're doing A, 
And so we're creating this as a cool little math manipulative, essentially. And so again, you can challenge um, to do on shake. Maybe it resets. Maybe uh, you want to go and explore. Like obviously, you're you're sort of limited in terms of your five by five LEDs, but there's still other are other opportunities to to go ahead and and explore other other possibilities. So if you wanted to jump jump, um, you know, you just go ahead and you can change that one the change position there, the change pause um, by one. We can go by two. What does that happen? Or what happens there? Change by two on, on the uh, the bead value. What happens there? So I would invite you to go ahead and explore um, with these different opportunities. And um, yeah, so again, thanks very much for watching. If you have any requests or, or any need for any support, please reach out. If not, I'm excited to see your results uh, from your... Um, your projects and uh, thanks again for for watching and uh, have a great day and happy coding